The Chevy Volt and Nissan Leaf have some lackluster sales numbers. VW gives the Touareg some R lineage, news on a new coupe from Mercedes, and our hump day girl of the week. What's up everybody, I'm Derek D. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. 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 The numbers are in. General Motors sold 321 Chevy Volts in January, while Nissan only sold 87 Leafs. Or should I say Leaves? <coughs> Terrific. <coughs> yep, all the hype between the two companies, and they still weren't able to sell more than the Pontiac Solstice Coupe, a car that was released just as GM killed off the brand. Actually, check it out, and yes, we looked this up. That's 800 units less than the number of Route 66 Street Cruiser Special Edition PT Cruisers sold by Chrysler in the first month of sale. No joke. Now, of course, the Volt doesn't have a bumblebee yellow paint job with a chrome wheel package, but for a car that was once said to be the saving grace for General Motors problems, don't you think you should sell more than 321 units only a few weeks after you introduced the model? That number is even more outrageous when you hear this. Or poured out last November, stated that Chevrolet would invest $40 million in clean energy marketing. More specifically, the Volt's public introduction campaign. You know what? Let's just stop this story here, because I'm about to start throwing things, and I don't want our ad sales team to get mad at me. Hey, Chevy, how about this? We'll take your money, we'll help you sell a few cars on the show, and our demographic is much better than the Route 66 PT Cruiser fan club. Yes, that exists. Look. Hideous. $40 million. 321 cars. Exactly. Anyway, VW likes its lines. I'm not talking about the Charlie Sheen kind of lines. I'm talking about the R line. The new Touareg R line to be exact. So, what do you get? Well, I thought you'd never ask. Let me list them for you. You ready, JF? You might have to do this pretty fast. <sighs> Sport tuned suspension, modified bumpers, new side skirts, additional chrome trim, tailgate mounted spoiler, a matte black diffuser, 20 inch Mallory wheels. Inside, you got aluminum trim, heated steering wheel. Stainless pedals, stainless steel door entry guards, two-tone Napa leather sports seats that are 12-way power adjustable. Let me recite that backwards for you. Elbert Satchard, Rewap, Yaw, Evisited, Era, Tat, Stout, Stra- Wow. Anyway, the R-Line will be offered on every model except the Touareg Hybrid. Sorry, all you tree huggers of the world. It looks cool, though. So as we've said the past few days, BBC America's Top Gear is sponsoring FLD this week and they want to hear your first car stories. If we and BBC America like your story, you could win a trip to London to see a Top Gear live event. As you know, this week we're featuring some of your stories and here is our latest favorite. Hi, my name's Matt. My first car was a 1999 Toyota Camry and it's still my first car. I've had this car for about four years now and it's going. The car was really cool. It came with everything that you really needed. CD player, cassette player, a good radio, auto start, a clicker to unlock the doors. It has this big seat in the back and it's great to sleep in or sleep with someone in. The trunk is huge. It's just a perfect car. The only problem is as it gets older, it just gets worse. But I've gotten the tires changed a million times and no matter how much I change them, they go flat. Even the new tire I just bought, it just went flat. I just got it yesterday and it's going flat. I don't know if it's the tires or the car. Thanks, Matt. But hang in there, dude. Trust us. We know what it's like to get flat tires. Maybe you have a bent rim and not bad tires. At least you don't have any problems like JF's Audi. He actually has to stall it just to turn it off. True story. See, people? These are the type of stories BBC America wants to see. To share yours, go to Twitter and use the hashtag MyFirstCar or post the video on YouTube with the tag MyFirstCar. BBC America will also show their favorite My First Car stories on air during the new season of Top Gear. That's Mondays 9, 8 central starting this Monday, February 7th. And again, if you have a great story, you can win a trip to London to see a Top Gear live event. Pretty cool. Enter the contest at MyFirstCarStories.com. And now, on to our internet rumor mill. This is the sign for the mill. Yeah. We've seen it before, but never this undisguised. It's the new C-Class AMG Coupe. Judging by the lack of camouflage, this baby is ready for production, and it should be revealed at one of the upcoming auto shows, possibly Geneva. The quad exhaust and AMG-style wheels over big calipers give away that this is a performance-bred car. 
But unlike where the sedan features a 6.3 liter V8 with 451 horses, insiders are telling us that this new coupe will sport a twin turbo 5.5 liter V8, the same as the new CLS 63 AMG. Yeah. It will be a little less powerful around the 420 range, but it will weigh less. Now the question must be asked, will AMG play it proper and call it the C55 AMG since it may have the 5.5 liter V8? Or will they just ruin their entire nomenclature and call it the C63 AMG Coupe? I, I don't know, I'm, I'm asking. So maybe you commenters will leave a comment and let us know. Yeah. Hey Ian, I got a question for you. Who is our hump day girl of the week? Uh, extreme snowboarder. Yes, biggity booyah. The lovely Gretchen Blyler. Yeah, not only does she rip on a snowboard as you can see right here, but she looks glorious in a bikini as well. She placed sixth in this year's X Games Super Pipe. So Gretchen, you may not have won gold at the X Games this year, but you won Fast Lane Daily's Hump Day Girl of the Week. You should be proud. I'll give you a gold. Yeah. <laughs> well, that'll about do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. And I feel like today is something, but I just can't remember what. What's this? Oh, it's Groundhog Day. That's right. What is, Alan, did you draw this? Is that a mouse groundhog? That's a groundhog. That's an interesting groundhog. I guess he saw a shadow, so we're going with uh, what, six, more weeks? six more weeks of winter. Can we get the trombone sound? Let's do it. There is no more winter. Like a mouse. This is like a. Yeah, a this is like a ground. That's, that's it's a, a ground beaver mouse. It's a it's a ground beaver. It's like it's like if a groundhog. Like a beaver, beaver mouse, mouse squirrel. A little squirrel. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of a squirrel there. Yeah, it kind of has a beaver tail. Yeah, kind of like. It's a, like a it's like a ground beaver mouse. Squirrel. Squirrel. squirrel.